Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Heidi. Today I'm gonna do a little drugstore makeup review. The amazing people at Revolution sent me a nice box of their new products. Some of you might still remember the IRL filter foundation from Revolution that launched earlier this year. If you're interested in this, I will link the video up here. So they sent in the same sort of IRL filter range, their new IRL skin filter pore blur primer which i'm really excited to use because i have larger pores in this area so we're gonna see how this works and the new irl all day filter mattifying fixing spray and a whole bunch of lip liners and lip creams i'll be trying on all the shades today so if that all sounds like fun to you then please keep on watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and let's just get started let's start with the irl skin filter pore blur primer that is a mouthful the price of this is 7.99 it's a lightweight blurring and mattifying primer aiming to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines a silky smooth formula oil free and enriched with vitamin e that all sounds very nice let's put this to test looks like it's an airless pump Ooh. okay doesn't really smell of anything. It's like this peach color as well. It feels like a mousse. And let's... Oh, that's weird. Um, okay. All right. Ooh. You can definitely see the mattifying effect on my forehead. I put it there in the middle. All right, so that's very promising. It feels a little bit like oily on the skin feels very smoothing and it has like the, sort of that silicone feel to it well, i can definitely still see my pores in this area and um, it is mattifying for sure there's like a lot of slip to it and it has kind of like a similar strange mousse texture as the foundation i'm just gonna pop the foundation on i used the foundation shade 6.5 and i'm quite fair I explained this in my review video, but for some reason shade 6.5 is much lighter than like a shade 4, for example. Just gonna put some concealer on. All I can say is that this foundation has a really weird flashback effect with my lights, because it looks so pale on camera, but in person it is my exact shade and it matches perfectly my neck. Something to keep in mind if you were planning to get that foundation. Yeah, because it has like that slip to it, I can tell that if I touch my foundation, like obviously I'm gonna set it so that's gonna make it a little bit easier. I can like move around my foundation, like if I do this, it will completely take off my foundation and it will gather like here. Um, so I'm not sure about that primer. I guess it did blur my pores a little bit. I think it's more of a mattifying effect though, because I can definitely still see my pores, so more of a mattifying primer than pore filling in my opinion. Next I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer. This is probably my favorite drugstore cream bronzer. This is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. It is very pigmented, so what I do is I literally dip my brush in it once and I can do both sides of my face with just that one dip. But it blends really really nicely and it's, a, it's such a beautiful shade. It has a strange, strange pineapple scent to it, but <laughs> but it but it looks really nice, and I love that color so much, and it blends like a dream. It's really, really good. It's better than some of like high-end cream bronzers, so I would highly, highly recommend this if you feel comfortable with super pigmented products. For blush, I'm using the Revolution Cheeky Blush Shot Blush Tint in the shade Red which I love. Just do one little dot on each side. This is also quite pigmented. And I'm still using the same brush to blend everything out. This color is just so pretty. There we go, I'm looking a little bit more human now. I'm gonna powder my face a little bit as well. It feels really weird to be filming because I haven't filmed in like a month. I was on holidays for about a month and I was also quite sick the entire time. I went to Finland and I went to Estonia. I also did some training. I have a new job. I am still working at Charlotte Tilbury. I am 
working full time now, which is a lot with the amount of social media that I also do. If you're only a subscriber here on YouTube, I also post on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest. So if you want to give me a follow on those channels as well, that would mean a lot to me. All right. I have to say the base looks really, really good. Looks really, really nice. I wouldn't say that my pores are blurred. You can definitely still see my pores here, um, which is really my only sort of problem area with pores, but in general, just like how my skin looks, it looks filtered. It looks really nice. Now I'm just gonna spray some IRL all day filter mattifying fixing spray on top. My face is already quite matte, but let's see what this does. Let's see the spray first. The Revolution sprays tend to be quite aggressive and spitty. Is there anything coming out of this? Oh, okay, you need to apparently shake it first. There's some like white stuff on the bottom, so... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely supposed to shake that first. Let's see what this says. This is the Revolution IRL All Day Filter Fixing Spray. This is eight pounds, which is a random price because the primer is 7.99, but this one's eight. Anyway, it's pore blurring, lightweight and long wearing. This fixing spray will keep your makeup in place all day long and rich with niacinamide. Oh, we love to see it. Although I don't think niacinamide actually would do anything in a setting spray just because you know, you already got layers of makeup on. So I don't know if it would actually reach the skin. Um, anyway, enriched with niacinamide and humectant powder to hold your makeup in place. Okay. The spray is quite aggressive. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, okay. I just sprayed it. Little tiny white dots all over my legs. That's definitely the powder. I'm trying to rub it and it's not coming off. Maybe you can see my mirror a little bit there. It looks dirty. That's powder all on top, like little white dots. Oh man, that is gonna leave white dots on the face. Okay, I'm trying to mix this very, very well first. Let's try it. Yeah, it's just ruined my black shirt. Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that. I can't see the white dots on my face, but definitely can everywhere else. So that's gonna be an instant no for me, sadly. Now it's time for the lips. I have tried all of them before. I did a little TikTok trying all of them on, but I'm gonna do that again just in case if you're not on TikTok so you can see it as well. There's a lip liner and a lip cream with the same name, so those are obviously supposed to be used together. You can of course mix and match because they are sold separately. I didn't like the pairings. For some reason Revolution keeps doing liners that are lighter than the lipstick, whereas I think majority of us like a lip liner that's a tiny bit darker than the lipstick rather than lighter or at least the same shade but definitely not lighter. I've always been a fan of the Revolution lip liners. They aren't the most long-lasting but they're really creamy and they have a sharpener here on the bottom as well because they are retractable liners. So let's just read first what it says about the IRL filter finish lip definers. These are $3.99 and it says a long wear, highly pigmented cream lip definer, helping you keep the perfect pout all day long, available in seven shades. And there's also a clear shade, which is called Clear Cup. It's designed to stop color bleeding for the ultimate stain power, but it doesn't say how to use it. Am I supposed to apply this around my lips or actually on the lips? I don't really know, but obviously it's clear. You're not gonna be able to see it, so I'm not trying that on today. And the lip creams are called the IRL Whipped Lip Creams. They are five pounds. Unbeatable stain power and a velvet mousse formula to give a blurring soft matte lip finish available in six shades. So the lip definers had seven shades because they had the clear one as well. Chai Nude is way too light for me. I might use the lip cream if I use the dark lip liner with it someday, but I'm definitely not gonna use the lip liner. I have no use at all for a lip liner that's that light. 
I do like the caramel syrup set. The lip liner is again lighter than the lipstick, so that would be my only complaint. I'm definitely gonna keep both the liner and the lipstick because individually they are really pretty colors. And this is Espresso Nude. As you can see, the lip liner is pink, but the lip cream is like a brownie nude. And it's also a lot darker than the lip liner. The Espresso Nude was also the biggest disappointment for me because the packaging is such a gorgeous color. It's like a nice taupey nude. Next we have Frappuccino Nude. I absolutely love the lip liner. It's exactly my type of a nude. The lip cream was a little bit more pink, but I do like them together. I will probably use them separately more. I'm definitely gonna put the Frappuccino Nude lip liner in my makeup bag so I can use it more often. I really, really love that color. The next shade is called Burnt Cinnamon. In my opinion, I feel like Burnt Cinnamon should be more brown than what this looks like, but I really like this shade of red. I think it suits me, and also out of all of these sets, this I think is the best lip liner and lipstick shade combo. The lip cream, you have to put such a tiny dot on the center of your lips and just blend it with your finger. That's how it works the best because it is so thick otherwise, and you're gonna feel like you have a huge layer of product on your lips and you're not gonna like it. And this last set is called Americano Brown, a really really beautiful dark brown shade. Again, just apply the tiniest dot in the center of your lip and blend it with your finger or like I'm doing here, just literally wipe all of the product off of the wand. You can get a much much nicer end result. And here is my favorite combo of products. So I use the Frappuccino Nude Lip Liner, which is my favorite out of all of the products. And then the Caramel Syrup Lip Cream. I think that makes such a nice nude combo. Overall, sadly, I think there were more misses than hits this time, which I hate to say because I know a lot of people really like Revolution. It's such an affordable brand. Just a little recap of all the products from today. So the primer, Felt nice and hydrating, not really sure about it just yet. Um, I think after powdering my face, I think it looks a little bit better because when I put the primer on and then the foundation, it felt like foundation was kind of like sliding a little bit. So I'm gonna have to continue using this to see if I like it. This one's a fixing spray, it doesn't say setting spray. And I believe fixing spray is more so to just blend all your products together where setting spray makes your makeup last longer. So I don't think this really did much fixing and just purely because there was white dots everywhere and I'm gonna have to now change out of this shirt and um, wash it because it has white dots all over it. I'm gonna say this one is a pass. The lip creams are quite nice. I don't like the pairings of lip liners and lipsticks that Revolution does. The formula is nice as long as you know how to use it. You cannot, absolutely cannot, just take the wand out and swipe it all over your lips. That is not gonna work. It looks bad, it looks really thick on the lips, and it doesn't feel nice. You're not gonna like it that way. So as long as you use a very, very minimal amount of it, it feels very nice and hydrating. It isn't completely transfer proof, but there isn't a lot of transfer either. So um, I would definitely use these again. The lip liners, oh, so creamy. I think I would even use them as a lipstick just all over the lips because they feel that nice and creamy. Sometimes when you have really creamy lip liners, they feel quite thick on the lips and you can definitely like feel it when you're like talking or whatever, but these feel really nice and thin. I think I prefer these actually to the sharpenable liners that I have from Revolution that I also really like. So the lip liners are a win. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That would really help me out. I hope you stick around and watch a couple more of my videos. And thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today. I hope to see you here next time. Bye!